Good afternoon, Mets fans, and welcome to a Monday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, coming at you a little bit later than normal on Monday, the 19th of March. We are a week and a half away from opening day, and as such, I want to follow up on my last post from last week talking about the opening day roster and what it will look like and I'm going to transition from last week's outfield conversation to a conversation this week about the infield. Before we get to the infield I want to talk really briefly about uh, today's spring training game. Uh, Steven Matz was uh, on the, the mound for the Mets. He did get the loss in the game but uh, pitched very well uh, through, I think, 91 pitches, um, gave up two runs, nine strikeouts, and he was facing a very, very tough Houston Astros lineup. Um, so I, I guess we have to be uh, have to be happy about the fact that Matt's put up some good numbers today, but um, the concern that the offense just is, is non-existent is a big one for me. Um, I, I've yet to see anything that, uh, worth getting excited about um, offensively from this team so far in the spring but it's spring training and uh, now that that's out of the way let's talk about the infield so um, the 25-man roster uh, we've already talked about four guys sort of checking off um, four of those names that would be Cespedes, um, Bruce, Lagaris, and Nimmo in center in, in the outfield um, the infield is going to have um, is going to have six men um, on that list and I guess one of them could sort of be an outfielder considering what happened over the weekend. But um, the six guys are, are going to be um, third base will be Todd Frazier. Shortstop will be Ahmed Rosario. Second base will be Azdrubal Cabrera. And first base at this point will be Adrian Gonzalez. The two bench guys at that point will be Wilmer Flores, who was the aforementioned outfielder. And I guess you could throw Jose Reyes, the other bench guy, into that outfield mix as well. Um, they both dabbled there, which is to say they've played an inning or two in an outfield position. Um, but neither of them, by any means, are outfielders. And if either Reyes or Flores are spending any time in the regular season playing the outfield, we got bad news. <laughs> so uh, that's six position players on the infield. And really, there's no competition there. I mean, it's hard to really talk about these not being the six guys. Um, the only real question mark is is how long of a rope does Adrian Gonzalez have? And, you know, is he really done? Is he finished? Is, is he going to co contribute in any capacity offensively? Um, I don't know how long he's going to get to prove that he's got something left in the tank. Um, he's owed very little money, so it's certainly not a money thing. It's $545,000 which in baseball terms is very little money. Now, I would happily accept $545,000 um, to play baseball. That would be lovely. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the point is there are six guys that are going to make up the uh, the infield spots on the roster. Um, so between those, those six and the four in the outfield, that's 10 out of 25. And since we're on the infield, I might as well discuss the catching situation, which, again, no questions here and no surprises here. Uh, it'll be Ploiecki and Darno behind the plate um, to start the season and uh, barring injury for the duration of the season. So that's 12 uh, position players on the roster. And again, not a lot of surprise here. The, the big question mark is going to be what happens as the season progresses and as Michael Conforto returns to the lineup. Um, what happens in the outfield? What happens th then in the infield? Um, if Nimmo plays himself into a position where he's got to stay out in, on the field uh, and, and Adrian Gonzalez isn't producing, do you cut Gonzalez and do you put Jay Bruce at first base and let Nimmo play right field? Or maybe Conforto play right field, whatever. Um, maybe Lagaris surprises us all. You know, that's really the, the, the big questions are going to be less about who the, the guys are and who the personnel are on the field on opening day. And they're going to be more about which of those guys steps up to the plate and performs to, to really kind of throw things into a tizzy as far as, um, the, you know, the plan is concerned. Uh, the, my next video is going to be talking and focusing on the pitching staff. So we know there's going to be 13 guys in the rotation. I'm not in the rotation, in the, in the pitching staff or, or pitchers. 
uh, making up the, uh, the the additional slots on the 25-man roster uh, because there's 12 position players. Now, five of them, of course, will be the starters. So you'll have the five in the starting rotation, which then means there will be eight guys in the Mets bullpen this year. And that is, is at this point in spring training, uh, is the only real question mark where there's still something of a competition going on, both in the rotation and in the bullpen. And so my next video is going to focus on that and my thoughts as to who should be or shouldn't be um, in, in the mix as it pertains to the pitching staff for 2018. Um, offensively, again, um, not a whole lot of surprises. You know, the, the position players, pretty straightforward with, with what the team is going to be doing. Um, it, had they not acquired um, Adrian Gonzalez, we'd probably be having this conversation about Dominic Smith. And, I, you know, who knows where Dom Smith fits into all of this? Who knows if Dom Smith will sniff the major leagues this year? Uh, a lot of that is going to be circumstantial. It's going to depend on performances of other guys. And if, if Gonzalez is performing and Bruce is performing and Conforto comes back and Nimmo's performing, I mean, these are good problems to have. These are absolutely... Um, absolutely super positive thoughts uh, but it's it's not po it's not impossible to think that that happens where all these guys perform and, and you got a guy like Dom Smith who just sits in in the minors um, Luis Guillorme another name guy who has surprised a lot of people this spring training uh, he's gonna be in Vegas it, it's just it is what it is um, we'll see how things unfold as to whether or not we see the same names who start the season on March 29th on the roster on May 1st. Um, that we'll have to wait and see. Uh, until the next video, though, which will be either tomorrow or Wednesday of this week, um, I do thank you for watching. I would encourage some commentary, but there's really nothing to talk about. Again, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, unless you're thinking outside the box and you want to hit me with something there, that, that's cool. I'd love to hear it. Uh, you can do that in the comments below or on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. Thanks again for watching, and as always, let's go Mets.